Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be for March 2021, like I said. So let's get straight into your reading, Leo, and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Leos. So Leo, I have the Two of Swords. Message for Leo, please, angels. What does Leo need to hear the most? Thank you. Okay, two cards. Interesting, interesting. We have ask for help from others. This can also be divine help as well. But you might find people around you or somebody around you is influential this month in supporting you. And we have look for a sign. And it's interesting going with this card, I have to say, that that card's appeared. So... I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per month, so divine timing and all that. Leo, it may well the messages may well overlap. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. We'll also clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, as we always do. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Leos for March 2021. Thank you. What do we have for March 2021? Thank you for Leo. Okay, so I have the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Two of Swords again. Two Twos of Swords. Okay. And we have the Four of Cups there, Leo. Okay. Message for Leo, please, angels, spirits, guides. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Leo? Thank you for March 2021, please. I've got the Empress there, Leo. Page of Cups is clarified with the Three of Cups. Two of Swords is clarified with the King of Wands. This is you, Leo. Male or female energy. And the Five of Wands is clarified with the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. So, Leo, the Two of Swords is a card of... It's when we can be stuck, when we're weighing things up. And we don't feel we have all the information or all the clarity that we have to make some kind of decision. It can sometimes represent difficult decisions. Um, so it feels like there's a lack of clarity here. Yeah. Um, can be when you're weighing things up, like I said, but the sword is to do with the mind, how we perceive something, our thought patterns. Now, like I said, the message with this is you'll know when things become clear by trusting your intuition. Uh, sometimes the two of swords is when we don't, when we try to get clarity with our mind, uh, it's not necessarily our mind that's going to give us the clarity. It's the intuition. This is the moon in Libra. So the moon energy is our intuitive energy, how we get clarity, make decisions. It comes from within. It comes from our gut instinct in how we need to move forward. Trust your intuition this month. That's what you're being told. Uh, it feels very beautiful here because for some of you, that's why you're being told to look for a sign. And it feels like in terms of intuitive messages, for some of you, there could be somebody who is bringing, helping you also um, getting clarity on a situation, supporting you on a situation. But definitely it feels like there is some intuition instinct. Um, you're being told to trust this month. So it feels that the clarity comes from within. That's definitely what I'm feeling. Now, this could also be to do with signs, symbols, you know, birds in the garden, feathers, links popping up on social media, you know, a message that you might hear, some piece of information, you know. It could also be divinely timed. So just be aware this month. 
the the empress is the promise of something new so she is all about the birth of something new she is very much to do with um she can be to do with pregnancy she can be to do with money areas she can be to do with areas of love uh, so something that you're working towards here, I mean, the, the Eight of Pentacles can be a monetary aspect, so very good in terms of money and career here. Leo, um, the Eight is somebody who works hard and by their efforts, by being methodical, it's a feeling of small steps bring giant leaps, you know, so your hard work, it feels is working at something is going to herald the promise of something new this is sowing the seeds for future growth so that could be to do with new abundance coming into your life in terms of money career could be to do with jobs opportunity call it what you will um could be working hard in terms of relationships could be working hard in terms of you know pregnancy that kind of energy but you know definitely very good in terms of money career the eight of pentacles in particular um there's real promise around what you're working towards here so whether it's to do with promotions um getting next levels getting new jobs getting more money you know it definitely feels i mean this can also be about being recognized for what you do as well it can sometimes be about learning new trades as well the apprenticeship and um, so if you're introducing new lines or going in a new direction you know working in terms of new skill sets this is you're sowing the seeds for future growth future abundance there's real potential and promise around what you're doing so it feels very beautiful here now we have the page of cups here and we have it with the three of cups here so it feels like what you're working towards remember the pages are the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change and for some of you the page of cups can be offers opportunities um certainly to do with if it's money and career it can be to do with creative projects here um can be to do, also be to do with matters of the heart love romance relationships leo again the three of cups is a card of um celebration joy reasons to celebrate uh, so it feels, I mean, it, again, there's a feeling of, of reaping the harvest. So what you've been working towards, this is another three right next to the Empress. There's a feeling of your hard work will pay off. Um, could be to do with some opportunity or the beginnings of something or, you know, a sign of something coming to you. It feels very beautiful in terms of some kind of the beginnings of something you offers opportunities like I said, could be in love areas, like can, can be in pregnancy as well, can also be to do with um, creative projects, like I said, so business, career, money, something that is very close to your heart, most definitely. And then we have this, Leo, which is the Two of Swords, which is a card of, again, this lack of clarity, and we have it with the King of Wands. So, I mean, this can be a card of, of, of being stuck or lack of clarity. Um, it feels, Leo, I mean, the King of Wands is an action energy. I mean, this is you, male or female energy. The King of Wands is Leo for me as a reader. So somebody who is empowered, who understands how to bring success into their lives, take the lead, take action, very charismatic, a go-getting energy. But there's a feeling of being stuck around the third week of March. And it could well be, this is where you're being told, yeah, the way you normally approach something, the way you, you, you move forward, the way you take action, it might well be just wait until things become clear. Or there's a message of trust your intuition in this week. Because for some of you, this is the sign this is the sign that you've been looking for. This is the universe. There are options open to you. We have four cups, but you're being guided in a specific direction here and it's by your intuition. So this can be about going into your quiet space, giving some contemplation, time, reflection, going within and really trusting your intuition on how you move forward in a situation. Um, 
yeah, Leo, I mean, it, it definitely feels for some of you there's real kind of like progress here. And then the third week, it feels like there's something that's making you stuck. And like I said, the sword is to do with your mind, your perspective, how you're perceiving something. And it's saying don't trust your mind in this situation. To really get clarity, you have to trust your intuition. And that's where you're being, because you're being guided in a specific direction to a specific opportunity here. Um, if you're thinking this, is it right for me? Do I go for this? I don't know if I have full clarity in the situation. The message is, you know, I'm, I'm seeing the cups energy very strongly here. You know, it's time to, to go for something now. You're being led in a specific direction. Don't miss this opportunity, maybe. Because, you know, the five of wands can be a card of, of conflict. Giving some deep thought to how you deal with conflict. I mean, that could be the lack of clarity here, but it can also be inner conflict as well, with it being fire energy for you in particular. And the message is you'll find the solution, you'll see the sign on how you need to move forward, how you need to, to, to deal with an opportunity or a situation in your life. You'll find the solution by trusting your intuition. Your intuition is right. And again, the Knight of Swords is a card of change. Remember, the Knights bring change. So progress, swift change, clarity. Again, this is the clarity you've been searching for, um, finding direction. You know, this is a card of progress. And yeah, it, I mean, if you're making your mind up in a situation here, Leo, it definitely feels that you'll get the clarity that you need this month. You will find the direction that you need. And it's by trusting your intuition. Um, yeah, the Knight of Swords is a lovely, lovely energy. It's an ambitious energy as well. It's a driven to succeed energy. It's a clear thinking energy, action orientated energy as well. Can sometimes be some news or information coming in as well to you that is bringing change. So maybe some news coming in or a conversation or some piece of information that brings clarity to a situation. So very, very lovely energy there. Very <laughs> lovely energy there, Leo. So I'm going to pull a final message for you. Final message for Leo. Two cards, okay. So we have purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. Interesting. And you see that is very much tying in with the Two of Swords energy. Look inside and you will find the answer to your question. Yeah. We have life energy. Um, the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. But I definitely feel that there is celebration, some celebration, feel good energy coming your way. Uh, you know, this can be a card of collaboration, teamwork, also friendship, so it could be other people supporting you. Um, but it, it definitely feels for some of you that you're gonna get the clarity that you need this month, You'll definitely be guided towards a specific opportunity or direction here. And there's definitely positive change, maybe from some news or by the actions that you're taking, the clarity that you're getting. There is absolutely positive change this month. So it feels very beautiful, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.